Hey guys, it's Pat here, and I just got my uh, MacBook in from my school, from Full Sail, for my mobile development degree program. So I figured I would do an unboxing because y'all know me, I like all kinds of, uh, well, pretty much anything electronic. So, kind of my nifty little unboxing knife here. Nothing like unboxing with something like that. So, let's get into it. Uh, this uh, I wasn't actually expecting this until tomorrow, uh, according to the FedEx site. So uh, I was uh, pleasantly surprised today when uh, the FedEx guy showed up. So let's see if we can. There we go. And. Fancy little knife work going on there. Let's set that back over there. And let's see here. This is supposed to be a, one of the latest MacBook Pros. And uh, so that got uh, some paperwork to set there, looks like. And uh, the rest is just the. Uh, Little uh, cardboard uh, foam replacement. These are pretty sturdy. Uh, yeah, actually, you know, a little shock absorbent there. Yeah, it's a pretty good packaging job that they uh, they use for sending stuff out. I've uh, I've received a, a lot of stuff that uh, wasn't packaged. Up, so not from them, but from like other things that I've bought. Let's see what we have here. Um, a Thunderbolt to gigabit. Ethernet adapter. Uh, see if you can see that there. Uh, I'm sure I'll need that for something. Um, let's see. That's just the packing list. Um, I've got a little low jack for a laptop here. Um, that's pretty cool. If anybody tries to steal my shit. All right, and let's see here. What do we got? We got the uh, the Apple MacBook Pro. Um, let's see what do we got on the back here. Um, not a whole lot, really. Let's see if I can see anything that's. Uh, let's see. It's the 15.4 inch MacBook Pro. Um, eight gigs of RAM, 512. Flash. Um, da -da 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 da 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 Yeah, it's not much else that I could not tell right off of the the box itself. Um. Yeah. So let's see how does this thing open? Looks like it just slides right off the top. So we'll get our trusty knife back out again. And I think that's where it opens, yep. Here we go. Oh, come on, get down. Yep. And the last one. Voila, plastic goes in the bag, knife goes back in the sheath, over, over, that plastic off, and uh, let's open her up, shall we? All right, there she is. Uh, as all of y'all probably know, I am not a big fan of Mac myself. Um, I think they're entirely too proprietary with some of their stuff. It does have its benefits being proprietary. Um, if you can monitor everything that goes on, you can keep it more secure, which is one of the reasons why the Mac 
uh, items are a little bit more secure. Um, uh, they are not uh, unbreachable uh, for viruses and stuff like that. It is a little bit more difficult to get them on there because, you know, just like on your uh, your iPhones, you know, you can't install any apps without reading it that aren't on the App Store. So uh, they actually go over everything pretty good. Got a very heavy uh, charging block here. Um, it's got a, a special port right here, looks like, for charging that it uses. Uh, that thing's huge. Um, let's see if, uh, where does this thing come off of here? Here we go. Let's peel this plastic casing off. And I'm curious about something here. Um, okay, uh, that comes off. I'm not sure what for. Um, I would have liked to have seen this. Um, yeah, I have no idea what all this is for. Oh, okay, that's just to uh, wrap your cord up on it, looks like. You can wrap your cord up on it so you can tote it with you. That's pretty cool. Um, the only difference is on this right here, let me get this up here so y'all can actually see it uh, for those who don't have a MacBook. Uh, I would have liked to have seen the, uh, the plug, and there goes my phone. I like to see the plugs on the side so that it'll actually, uh, whatever you mount it up to a wall, it would mount flush instead of mounting like this right here where it's going to stick out four inches. A um, little personal preference, and plus it doesn't weigh down on the wall and uh, put as much uh, stress on the, uh, the socket. But uh, there's the charger. Um, and then here's something else. Here's another charger. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like they've uh, thought of what I had. Here's another cord that uh, plugs in with just this piece. That looks more like uh, you could pick it up and take it with you. It looks like you can hook this one on there. So uh, you take this here, and uh, that comes off. You put this one on, and then you can plug it into the wall using this. So it all hooks together like that. So, OK. Um, it's an interesting way to do it. I still would have liked to have seen them if they're going to intend this for travel to make it to where this at least uh, somehow was on the side. Um, if, I, if it would have been up for me on the design aspect of it, that's the way I would have gone. Um, so, let's see if I can get this back off. Put that back on there just for now. And we'll set that off to the side. Take this, set it off to the sides. Nice rubberized cable. Um, it's covered all the way through. Completely covered in rubber. That's cool. Um, okay, so there's that. There's that they came in. Let's see here. We've got uh, sucks of paperwork. Yep. Um, it's like a uh, maybe a cleaning cloth. My phone is going nuts this morning. Uh, yeah, that's cleaning cloth for uh, the monitor. Uh, it's got a quick start guide. Um, kind of goes over, uh, let's see, shows you all the ports and everything that's on it. Uh, shows you how to use the trackpad with the multi-touch gestures. Um, there's a couple other basic things. Uh, I'll probably actually review that later. Like I said, I'm not a Mac guy. So um, I know nothing about Mac. Uh, comes with some nifty little Apple uh, stickers. Don't know what you would want to put those on, but I'm sure somebody somewhere wants to put their stickers on something. Um, I just built a new PC myself, and of course I got all of the... Uh, uh, gaming gear tags, the, the stickers and the, everything that you're supposed to put on your case. I think it makes it look kind of tacky, so I don't put those on there. I like my case to stay clean. Um, see if there's anything else. I don't think so. Maybe not. No. Is there anything else underneath here? This is kind of in here pretty good. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to come out. All right. 
So it looks like uh, it's everything there. Let's look at the actual uh, the thing. I'm going to take the box here and set this back together. I'm going to set this off to the side real quick. And I am going to go ahead and plug this in for whenever we go to power up the, uh, the laptop. I'm take this piece to in my desk drawer over here. I'm actually working on a little side table. Uh, here in my basement slash office slash man cave slash bar slash entertainment center slash getaway place, uh, whatever you want to call it. All right, so I have the actual uh, MacBook here. This thing is extremely thin. Uh, look at that. I mean, I'm sure that y'all have seen uh, MacBooks before, but wow, that's really thin. That's not even, that's probably not even as tall as a dime. Um, a pack of playing cards. Um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, let's see what I have here. Uh, please read software license agreement, blah, 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 blah. Nobody ever reads the software license agreement on anything. Discussions is proof of that. Uh, let's pull it out of this little uh, plastic here. Jump that behind us. Um, so yeah, here we go. This is uh, actually metal. Huh. Not bad, not bad. Um, let's see if we can open her up here. It's not gonna be too awful bad to type on. It'll take a little bit of getting used to. Um, huge trackpad here. Uh, let's see what do we have here. We got the screen. It's nice and uh, nice, and decent size. You know, you could work off of it. It's not bad for a for a uh, for a laptop. Um, so let's see real quick. Let's see what kind of ports we have. Um, looks like I have um, those. Might be two micro or mini. Uh, display ports. Uh, we've got a USB there. We've got the power cord here. It's got a uh, place for your headphones. There, so you can see those. Um, I'm guessing those are mini display ports. Uh, I'm not sure what else they would be. Huh. Anyway, um, on this side, I have another USB, I have an HDMI out, and what looks to be a card reader. So there is that on that side. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus in on it a little bit. Yep, there we go. Um, of course, there's nothing on the back. Um, I don't see. Yeah, there's no disk drive at all. It's odd. I mean, I guess that's odd. I mean, on all the, the piece of the uh, Windows laptops and stuff I've used, they've all had a, uh, a CD port or a CD uh, optical drive. And this does, uh, does not. So it looks like everything's going to have to be done through USB, which most things are being done through either USB or download these days. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, music and stuff like that I'll just have to put it onto my regular PC first before I put it on this so let's see if I can figure out this thing here um, looks like it's directional there we go looks like it's a it's like a magnet that uh, hooks it in here to keep it in that just kind of snaps into place and pulls it in uh, I got a little green light here that just came on Showing me that it's charging. I don't know if y'all can see that on the video. Oh, well, it's orange now. Yep, there you go. Uh, shows that it's connected to charging. So, let's pull this bad boy up. And uh, see if we can find the power button. There, there we go. Hey, there we go. Check it out. 
It works! Oh. I have me a little bit of a monster here. All right, let's see here what we got. Yes, I want to use English as the main language. Yes, I am from the United States. Looks like I have to... Okay, I'm going to continue. Uh, you actually have to press it down. It's not like on uh, the other laptops I've used where it's all touch. It actually it has a button underneath it. Uh, choose the keyboard layout. Yes, I want to go with English. Um, I'm going to pop up my network real quick. Oh, the keys are actually backlit too. I really like that. Um, same one thing, if you've never used a keyboard with backlit keys, go get one. You'll never go back. Uh, ever. It's taking this thing a minute. Alright, and here we go. We're back to see we've got a transfer invitation from this Mac. I don't have anything to transfer. We'll start completely fresh with an Apple ID. Oh, good Lord, I have one because the only thing I've ever used an Apple product for is if you look over here on my... You see I've got a uh, an iPhone 4S hooked up to my surround sound system that I used to play Pandora on. Uh, down here in the basement when I'm just not jamming out. Uh, let's see here. Um, we'll just create a new Apple ID. How about we just do that? Uh, create an Apple ID. Let's see. It wants my birthday. I was born. February 30th, 1872. Damn, I'm old. Huh. Alright, let's see here. Okay, my email address is already being used. So let's go back and let's see if we can. Nope, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Okay, uh, I forgot my password. Yeah, sorry about this part here. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't do Apple. Uh, like I said, February uh, the 30th year 2072. Um, well, that'd be strange, wouldn't it? Um, let's see. What was the first? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the name of your lifelong crush? Um, B. A. Stecklin. Yes. Yeah. That's it. That's that's it right there. So Brandon, if you're watching, the cat's out of the bag. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, I need a new password here. So let's go with. Uh, Uh, my password has been changed. <laughs> All right, I can actually go ahead and uh, and and do this thing now. Oh, I guess I actually have to change the password here. All right, there we go. Okay, finally, uh, allow iCloud to use location. This Mac to find my Mac. Um, uh, no, no, I don't want you tracking where I am. 
Not that me clicking don't do this is going to be able to keep somebody from being able to do it anyway. Um, God, my phone is going nuts this morning. Uh, let's see what do we got here. Uh, bum, bum. Okay. That's something weird. All right. Um, I have read and agreed to the OS. I'm going to turn this right here. Y'all just kind of—I know y'all probably can't read any of this, but anyway. Um, yeah, agree. Okay. And create a computer account. Um, Okay, there we go. Require my password to unlock screen. No. Um, allow my Apple ID to reset this password. Yes. Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, sure, why not? Uh, options, same time zone based on current location. So diagnostics and use of data. App. Ah, no. Uh, continue. Okay, we're creating the account now. Um, register this Mac to this Apple ID. I don't care about Apple News. All right, and we're syncing up now. Have another little uh, monster drink here. Y'all can see my desk right now. I literally have cans of monster all over it. Um, I swap back and forth between energy drinks, and uh, I think I'm about done with monster now. So uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll go back to uh, running a uh, running nos, uh, drinking that again for a little bit. All right, here we go. We have a wonderful little MacBook. Um, I have no idea um, how to use this here about this Mac. Okay, it's running uh, version 10.9.2. Uh, it's got a 2 gigahertz Intel Core i7. Uh, it has 8 gig of 1600 DDR3. Uh, more info. Uh, it does have the Retina display. Uh, it has an Intel Iris Pro 1024 graphics. Um, let's see here. So yeah, it's got the built in uh, retina display running at 2880 by 1800 uh, resolution. Um, for storage, let's see, it's got a 500 gig hard drive. Um, so it says 500 gigs of flash storage. Um, uh, and then 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, it looks like it's uh, two memory slots, uh, each of which accepts 1600 DDR3 memory module. All memory slots currently in use. It's got two 4 gigs in it. Um, it looks like you can upgrade that, so I may end up doing that and uh, upgrading this to uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Not that I'm sure that I'll be actually needing it much. But, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. So, there we go. That's the MacBook. Uh, I'm going to play around with this for a little bit. Um, I've got to make sure I get my discussions uh, chat and the, uh, the RP chat loaded up on here so that I can keep track of you knuckleheads, whatever. I'm not running around and supposed to be doing homework and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. There it is. Check it out. Full Sail University. Um, this is cool. Uh, yeah. Brand new MacBook. So, uh, alright guys. Take care. Peace out.